Abuhai everyone, Marches here. Today we'll be comparing the recently released KD12 in the Day 1 colorway and the Kyrie 5's My Taco colorway. I really love the colorway of this taco because orange and reflective 3M here and some Armageddon touches on the upper of the shoe. So let's check out which performs better. But before we do the comparison, I would just like to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Like me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all those media outlets. If you want a more detailed look and performance review of these shoes, I will put the link up here. First up, let's discuss the upper of the shoes. The Kyrie 5 uses a fused mesh, which is very plasticky, very rigid, which is really nice, very supportive, no delays, no stretching whatsoever. KD12s also features a fuse mesh upper and the main difference between the two shoes is KD12's upper is thinner compared to the Kyrie 5s but very very similar in support thanks to the quad axial flywire that you can find in the KD12s which is a new innovation given to us by Nike. So as for upper, the support, lateral support is very good on both shoes. No slipping on the footbed. Even the KD12s, the upper doesn't stretch that much, which is very, very good. You can see the mesh upper of the Kyrie 5s to be very rigid. And I think it's because it's dual layered. There's a layer underneath the fuse mesh. So which upper do I like better? I like the upper of the KD12s better because it's lighter, it's more minimal, and it's more breathable since it's thinner. KD5s is a little bit hot because there's not much ventilation in the whole shoe. So that's why I like the KD12s upper because it's thinner, it's more breathable, it's lighter. In time, you can get the maximum support that you can find in the Kyrie 5s. So as for the upper, KD12s for the win. For the heel part of the shoe, both are mid cuts and both have internal heel counter. Heel containment lockdown on the two shoes are very very good i'll say it's equal no heel slippage whatsoever and as for the cushion the achilles pillows kd 12 has a thicker ankle achilles pillows compared to the kairi 5 it's more comfy it's more plush but at the same time the kairi 5 is not that bad too but for personal preference i would choose the kd 12s as for the lacing system the kd 12 has a half booty half down so it's easier to put your foot in comparing it to the kairi 5s which is one of the hardest shoe to put your foot in because of the venus flytrap lacing system so it can only stretch that much for wide footers i would recommend the kd 12s better because it's easier Easier to put your foot in. While the Kyrie 5 is harder, but the lockdown that you'll be getting on the Kyrie 5 is very, very awesome. Now, let's move on to the cushion of the two shoes. The Kyrie 5 features a 4 foot zoom turbo unit, it's articulated, and you need a little break in time to feel the 4 foot zoom unit in the Kyrie 5s. And after breaking them in, it's very good. You can feel a very nice bounce in the forefoot in the Kyrie 5. And for the heel part of the shoe, there is an injected phylon, which is not that thick. That's how Kyrie likes it, because he wants maximum cord feel in his shoe and maximum responsiveness. So he doesn't want a chunky cushion at the back of his shoe. I don't know why, because I don't think it will greatly affect the cord feel or responsiveness of his shoe. Maybe he just likes it to be very minimal. And maybe he doesn't really use it that much. I doubt that, because when I see him play, when he's doing stutter moves, I usually see him making heel strikes. So the heel cushion is used there. Maybe he doesn't want any delays on that. So that's my speculation on that. But the forward zoom it here is awesome once you have broken it in. Comparing it to the KD12s, which uses a full and zoom unit without strobo board, which is directly attached to the upper of the shoe. Right off the box, you can feel the full and zoom unit. It's very bouncy, no break in time needed. And as you play with it more, you'll feel the bounce improve a lot. If you want a more bouncier shoe from the forefoot, to the heel. Also, there's a double stack zoom unit at the heel of the shoe, which is awesome. Bounciness is there. Impact protection is good also. And that's because of the perforated injected pylon, which make the shoe more plush compared to the Kyrie 5. But if you want maximum bounciness, at the same time, good court feel, good responsiveness. Of course, KD12 for the win. But if you want maximum court feel, responsiveness, and doesn't mind the impact protection in the heel, of course, go with the Kyrie 5s. Personally, I feel that the KD12 has the right amount of court feel and responsiveness in the shoe. Now let's move on to the outsole of the shoe. Both outsoles have a curved outsole, which is really, really dope. The traction of the outsole goes up in the middle part of the forefoot, which will help in a quicker first step. The Kyrie 5 has a more pronounced traction in the middle part of the shoe. It really goes up until the end of the cushion. Traction-wise, both uses very hard rubber, so outdoor use 
is okay. As for the grippiness of the outsole, my Kyrie 5, I need to break it in first to remove the outer film. After that, the traction is very good but still picks up a little bit of dust. And at the same time, very similar to the traction of the KD12s, you need to break it in first. At the first time that I use it, it picks up dust very, very quickly but it improved over time as I use it more. So both tractions are very similar. So you need to break them in first and eventually they will improve a lot better as you play with them more. So as for traction, I'll give them a tie. Sizing wise, go through to your size. For wide footers, go half a size up. And as for the width of the shoe, the Kyrie 5 is a little bit wider on the forefoot. And as for the heel, the Kyrie 5 is a little bit wider on the heel too. So the KD12 is one of the narrowest shoes that I have right now. Every time I compare it with another shoe, it's slimmer compared to the other shoe. As for pricing, the KD12 is more expensive by $20 or 1,000 pesos here in the Philippines. Which shoe would I recommend? Personally, I like the KD12s better because of the cushion. You don't lose court feel or responsiveness and it's very lightweight, very minimal. My only gripe in the shoe is the traction. I hope it gets better over time, but everything else, very nice. Even the quad axial flywire for support and fit, very, very nice. So for a thousand pesos more, I think for the tech that you'll be getting on the KD12s, it's worth it. But if you're someone who likes maximum core feel and doesn't mind less impact protecting your sneaker and wants maximum responsiveness and cord feel, of course, go with the Kyrie 5 and it's cheaper by a thousand pesos. So that's it on my comparison between the Kyrie 5 and KD12s. I hope I help you guys out. This has been Marches once again. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.